Well, everyone, here we go again. Another day in paradise. Here's something you guys don't see. There's another piece right here. Once in a while, if Cruz is sleeping in the front seat, because sometimes he likes to curl up there at night, I will put this here so if anybody walks across the sidewalk, they don't get the chance to see uh, our little bears sleeping on the front seat. We have been in this town for three nights now, and uh, I think it's time to hit the road, even though this is a hard place to leave. Another beautiful morning. It's been picture perfect every single day. Wow. But sometimes the open road calls. <laughs> time to hit the road, guys. Move on somewhere else. I really, really, really enjoyed this town. This is the first time in a long time I've ever stayed in one area for this long. This is like, well, I shouldn't say that, it's Guamish. <laughs> Before we leave, let's see what the cost of real estate is in this town. All right, this one sold. Looks like, uh, you know, very, fairly nice, small, little, little rustic home. It looks pretty simple. What do, you, what do you guys say? What do you guys think that thing's worth? $755,000 is what it's sold for. There's a little rancher. Come on, it's got a couple car garage, a few bedrooms, a nice little rancher. That's nice. A million dollars. A million dollars. <laughs> Why did I never buy a house or anything like that <laughs> that's why that's my house way better than those ones anyway before moving into my van i used to move around a lot like every year or two years into a brand new place because the thought of looking at the same view every day kind of stressed me out and it's in those moments where i realized that i was a nomad i needed change every day what are we doing this morning Looks to me like we're gonna squeeze on a little ferry boat. <laughs> Heck yeah. Brentwood Bay Ferry Terminal schedules. First one here this morning leaves at 7.30 in the morning and uh, cost is six bucks for an adult. Vehicles are 15 bucks and we're probably looking at, by the time you get all the taxes and everything else in, you're looking at probably about 25 bucks to take the ferry this morning. I thought catching the ferry today might be fun. We're going that way anyway. We could have driven the long way around, but I figured getting on the boat here this morning might be a fun way to just cross over this little passageway here. Oh, heck yeah. And I made sure I got here early, so I was the first one on the boat so we would have a prime view the whole drive over. It's crazy because once you realize that you were born to be a nomad, all the past things that went on in your life when it comes to trying to find a place to call home all make sense. Because I tried everything I could to make my apartments feel at home. Every basement suite, every little house I rented, but not one of them did. But once I realized I was born to roam, it all made sense. What a picture perfect morning this morning. So taking this ferry cost me $22.50. It would have cost me more in gas in the van to make this drive. So right along the side there is a highway that runs all the way across. Well, where we are, we would have had to have wound all the way back just to get on that highway to wind all the way around the other side to get over there. So for $22. Come on, you might as well just spend the money and enjoy some time out here on the water. Man, this place is like Paradise Island. I know it's called Vancouver Island, but lately it's been feeling a lot like paradise out here. Oh. <laughs> this, the sunny weather is just like, it's changed the game. I can't believe it. 
like there's like they're empty empty this is creepy i got the binoculars out and i'm like creeping at people's homes <laughs> so good though not the creeping at people's homes but being able to see well, there's the ferry crossing Anyway, guys, this is something you haven't seen yet. Um, I bought myself a set of binoculars, bought them on Amazon. They're Bushnells. I don't know what the, brand, what the model is on these or anything. I don't know anything about them. It says 10 by 42 Bushnell waterproof um, trophies. I don't know, I, I don't know anything about them and I probably should have done a little bit more research, but I figured it to let me see some things and that's that's all I wanted because sometimes you get out in these scenarios and I look in the distance and I'm like is that an abandoned house and I want to like take a look and you can so picking this up was it's been kind of fun and even yesterday when I was sitting out by the ocean when you see a bird or you see like what you think might be a seal out in the water and you take a look and you, you it's awesome to have it's one of those silly little things I never thought in my life I would ever buy, and I sure am glad I did. Remember how I mounted my knife on my door by just screwing the, the, the case to it? I might do this too. I might secure this inside of my van somewhere so like it's bolted onto the, you know, maybe the doghouse here. That way I can just grab the binoculars anytime I need, or maybe I might mount them on the side door. I'm not really sure, but binoculars. I own a pair of binoculars. I've been a city boy my whole life. City boys don't own binoculars. If you're a city boy and you own binoculars, you creep on your, your neighbors. <laughs> well, it's, it's been fun though. All right, guys, we're uh, about to get off the ferry here. Uh, I think this pulls into Mill Bay, BC. Oh my gosh, that was so worth the 22 bucks. <laughs> I am never gonna drive that highway again. This was fun. <laughs> I love these moments. Come on. Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. I love these moments because this is the side door of my home. <laughs> Perfect place to make ourselves a little breakfast. I gotta go into my rooftop carrier and get my other toaster. <laughs> this one only has two sides on it. It's missing one of the prongs. So we're like stacking them just to toast a few pieces. I slept down here once. It was quiet, there was no cars, until somebody pulled up behind me. I posted on my Patreon, and because Patreon knows where I am in real time, one of my subscribers like, I recognize that area, so he pulls up behind me, comes up and said, Chrome! And he brought beer and cinnamon buns. <laughs> oh, awesome, I love you guys, by the way. <laughs> you guys make this van life for me so exciting, I love it. Anyway. We got to go to J5 Custom Vans today. I need to go drop him off something and I got some packages there I want to take a sneak peek at. We're in the little town of Mill Bay, BC. And we got to go into this, um, this little, I don't know what you want to call it, strip mall, grocery mall, the little bay, the Mill Bay Center. We need a bank machine. I like this little strip mall. It's got like some character to it at least. I like it. 
There's the oh so important BC liquor store. Now we don't need any booze. We got lots, <laughs> we got lots of that in the van. It's pretty crazy when you wake up one day and you realize it's okay to be who you are. It's okay to embrace everything you've ever felt inside and naturally just be yourself. And if that means you want to wake up and just roam around the world, then wake up and roam. When I realized that I was born to roam and I had the chance to embrace that and follow that, my entire world completely changed. Because my whole life I've been trying to shove it into the box that I didn't belong in, I watch my parents live a life, I watch my grandparents live a life, so you automatically figure that you gotta shove your world inside of the same box and I just didn't fit. I didn't like the feeling. That day when I woke up and realized that it was time to roam, it was time to just go out and roam around this planet, it was such an amazing feeling. But sometimes I gotta turn around and grab my camera because you gotta get the shot. Welcome to Shimanus, BC. Look at this, you guys, look at that. So amazing. This is wicked. See what happens when you walk over to my van? You just say, like, hey, what's up? Hey, let me, uh, let me, let me hook you up. And again, the back, you've been, you've got me now. I do a lot of bike packing and. Oh, okay. oh amazing out there. Um, That's awesome. Yeah, so then I can go over and so, or as telling you about, go to end of Lake Cowichan. That's wicked. So what, was the, app, what was the app that they used? View Ranger. View Ranger, and then yeah, yeah the back roads one. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. this out guys right here in this little tiny little town of Shimanus. you know the one that i like the little place with all the murals chris is that you said yeah staff all right did yeah. it good you got it right <laughs> so this is chris he's the owner of this store beyond, his, beyond the usual beyond the usual right here in Shimanus. his daughter's the one that's in this store what was her name jaden jaden go in there say hi to jaden check this stuff out man this store had so many cool things i wish i had more room in my van <laughs> Well, I, I would just about bought a pair of hiking boots. They were only in size 12 though. Why do people only carry shoes for like little people? I'll do better. What size are your shoes? Mine? Nine. See? <laughs> Every time you go somewhere, it's always like, yeah. sorry, sir. We have a size nine though. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like 13, 14. That thing's pretty cool. You guys have seen me run my camera a lot in this town. We're in Shimanus, BC, uh, the home of J5 Custom Vans. They're located not far from where I'm sitting right now. And I come out here a lot to do business with them. He's responsible for a fair chunk of the upgrades that are that are being done in my van. And uh, he's also the guy that's gonna be installing my lift kit in my van, hopefully coming up here pretty soon. But when you visit a small town like this one, you know, you always wonder on on how accepted are we? Like, as as a mobile traveler, like, are we welcomed here, or are we, or are we just being a nuisance? Well, the guy you just met there, he not only is a business owner in town, but he's also the head of the business association, and he's got our backs. He thinks it's amazing that us mobile travelers come into their town. This town of Shimanus has a huge section on the bottom side of town away from everybody, which has RV designated parking. So when we come through, we got a safe place to park in actually labeled areas. It's pretty amazing. But think about it, you guys. Sometimes we get that feeling inside of our stomachs like, like people don't want us here. You gotta think about this. A lot of these local businesses appreciate that, that we come through. I just bought a t-shirt and stuff from his shop today. I'm probably gonna get groceries in town. I'm gonna fill up my van gas tank in town and whatever else happens, coffee, breakfast, lunch, dinner, or whatever goes on in our day, we bring income into these communities. And as much as that feeling inside of us sometimes says that these places don't want us, I think that's bull <laughs> uh, It was just so nice to meet somebody like that. Um, I, I, it shocked me that he was like, yeah, I'm a head of the business association. I'm like, you're a, I think that's what it's called. Pretty cool. We want to show you guys that shirt again. It's awesome. I seen this on his hat and I'm like, please tell me you have shirts and stuff at your shop in. And he's like, yes, I do. So that's the name of his company. 
called Beyond the Usual here in Shimanus, BC. It's awesome. Chris is like, why are you so sad? Are you sad because I, you look really sad today. Are you mad because I didn't give you one? I'm like, sorry, buddy. He's like, I can't eat it, Dad. This is, this is no good. <laughs> And he gave me this sticker too, Explore Vancouver Island from Tree to Sea, Shimanus. I'm gonna stick that one right, right there. As of right now, we got stickers going over top of stickers. <laughs> up in here. Bada boom. You know these little air freshener trees? I bought one of these for my van today. Look how big it is, it's the same size as my hand. Like it's giant, like this thing is, this is the same size as my whole hand. This thing is huge. All right, we got everything we need. Keys, COVID mask. And I'm rocking the new shirt, baby. <laughs> Sometimes when I do these takes, it's so funny. We're gonna pop in here to Rye Brewing because this boy needs a beer. Let's search. Let's go. Oh, crazy. Can we add one of every sticker on my tab too? One of each. Yeah, sure. And that one's awesome. We put the anus and shamanus. Yeah. She filled it up for a reason, buddy. Grizzy, you got some new stickers over there, buddy. Put the anus in Shimanus. And we got a few more down there. There's Riot Brewing right there. And uh, another one right there. This one's coming off a little bit. <laughs> so as you guys can tell, my rooftop of stickers has now grown down that column. And starting down that column, I'm hoping in due time we can get all these done all across here, down there, and all down the back here. There's one thing about this little town, is everything goes to bed super early. At this time of night, the only thing open is the beer store, and the grocery store, and a local restaurant or two. Other than that, every business in town shuts down way before the sun goes down. If you are going to travel to places, please stay within the parking bylaw limits. In a great little town like this one that's small, quaint, very sweet, and a tiny community, just respect the parking bylaw signs. I like this town. like a hard it's like a hard plastic handle here but up here it's like rubber like super grippy heck yeah look how long this thing is i got myself let me try to turn it around here without scratching my van up i got myself a real size shovel so in my rooftop carrier i've got a small little stubby one, which will probably do the job and do the trick. But when I was talking to the crew over at Hitchweb, 
uh, when it came to buying recovery gear and the front winch and stuff like that that's going on my van pretty soon, we got into a discussion about a shovel and having a full-size shovel that'll actually get me some leverage to to, to dig me out of a situation just kind of made sense. So um, I picked myself up one of these and we're going to be mounting this to my roof rack on my van. Instead of being inside of my rooftop carrier, this is going to be on my actual Rhino rack system itself, allowing me to take the stubby one out of my rooftop carrier, creating a little bit more space. So we got this baby and we ordered um, the install kit. Oh, this is cool. It's even got a lock on it. This gets mounted to my roof rack system. This screws tight to hold on the shovel and it's got a key in the, e in the end. So once it's tight, you pull the key out. Now nobody can steal the shovel that's on my roof rack system. I'm pretty excited about doing these little tiny upgrades. They may seem tiny right now because you know these aren't an expensive upgrade to do but when you're out there on the trail and you actually need a shovel these little upgrades are going to feel massive and i'm super excited inside of this bag is the side wall to my sun seeker 2 awning that's up there you guys heard me talk about this in a video the other day on how i wanted to get the side wall attachment Woo, look at that Oh my gosh, you guys, I am super excited. And it's super simple. All it is is just a canvas piece that goes on the one wall. It's got all the, the tubing and bracketing that, that we need. And then this just gets anchored to my awning and then anchored to the ground, creating a side wall. So if I happen to be getting a side wind that day, I can put the awning, but put the extension wall on the side of it to block the wind that day so hopefully the wind's not coming from multiple different <laughs> directions because we only got one side wall attachment but this thing will allow me to use my outside awning even on days that are raining and windy the only time i've used the awning now is when it's raining out and not overly windy outside because it's when it's windy the awning doesn't work well. The awning works great when the rain's falling down, but when the rain's coming this way, which it does quite a bit here on the west coast of British Columbia, when it's coming in sideways, it kind of renders the whole awning side of it useless. And I really enjoy that awning on, um, on rainy days. That's my favorite time to pull it out is when the weather outside is just not very pretty. So I'm excited to get this thing up and in use. And I love it that it just comes in this nice, simple little bag. I popped into J5 today because we were talking about my lift kit and trying to put a timeline on things. My lift is here in Canada. I'm just waiting for it to be delivered to Vancouver Island. It's just on the mainland in Vancouver right now. So I'm hoping in the next few days that that will be here and hopefully I'll still be on the island so we can open up that box from Welltech and get a hands-on look at that lift kit. And as soon as it's here, John's going to Give me a timeline on when we can get it all booked in. And today we were talking a lot about my rear differential on the van. And I think we're going to be putting in a differential out of an F350 pickup. So it's a one ton and it can handle the load that's in the back, meaning the axle's thicker, the brakes are bigger, and everything will just be just that much better. And we were also discussing about the possibilities of putting a rear locker in my van at the same time as my lift kit and my winch, making me backcountry ready for the whole summer. <sighs> it's all we're doing here, guys, is we're trying to get ourselves ready for one epic summer road trip. I am pumped for it this year. Thanks for watching, you guys. I don't even know what we did today. Oh, sometimes when I get to the end of a day, I'm like, what, what, did, what did we even record today? And everybody, thanks for watching. I'll try to leave the links to this stuff uh, on our website as soon as we can at vancityvanlife.ca because everything we own inside the van here has a link on our website. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, and uh, after meeting all the people that we did today, I was sitting there having a bite to eat on a patio and a lady walked by. She's like, Chrome! Chrome, and it was awesome. I met so many of you guys today. It was super rad. And even where I'm parked right here now, there's a gentleman sleeping over there in a in a 
is it a truck, an avalanche? Anyway, uh, just over beside me here with this puppy and he's like, home. I watch your channel. It was awesome, our dogs played together. And it's nice to be surrounded by so many loving and friendly people. Let me, let me reword this. It's so awesome to be surrounded by so many weirdos. Weirdos unite, baby. See you guys on the next one.